Thank you, Mr. President. Currently, we all know India is battling with catastrophic global pandemic. Each day, many people are losing their lives to this deadly virus. Like many other families, I have also lost family members in the last few weeks. It is a devastating period for all the Indians around the world. Over the weekend, like in many parts of the world, Victorian Indians united together to conduct special prayer sessions and provide support. In Victoria, we saw many Indians come together to conduct prayer sessions organized by the local multi-faith leaders. Participants were there for one reason, and that was to support and offer prayers according to their faith to end the COVID-19 pandemic in India and around the world. Last weekend, I had the opportunity of attending multiple events to support and pray for India's ongoing fight against COVID-19. One prayer session was put together jointly by the Divya Jyoti Jagruti Sansthan DJ JJS and Sahara Victorian Association SVA at the Federation Square. The prayer event at the Immigration Museum was also organized by the doctors from OMGA, the Overseas Medical Graduates Association. I represented the Honorable Ross Pence Minister at the fundraising event organized by OESS, the organization to encourage people and step towards success. Lastly, the prayer session was also organized by Bharatiya Seniors Melbourne Club and Gujarati Events of Australia to extend solace to people suffering back home. I take this opportunity to thank all the organizations involved for the support to the Indian community here and abroad at this time of crisis. I hope that our prayers are accepted and we see an end to this pandemic globally. I also want to thank the Victorian government for providing India the aid worth of $41 million, including 1,000 ICU ventilators and other medical consumables. This aid will help in saving thousands of lives in India.